Now, I've got a, a closet Doctor Who fan beside me. No, from when I was very little. I don't actually watch it now, but I loved it when I was little. I used to play... I was Layla, who was... That was the one in the thongs, wasn't it? <laughs> I didn't wear well... thongs. I was only seven at the time. I used but, uh... to love the music. <laughs> <laughs> I used to hide behind the sofa when I watched it. Though. Um, but did you know that the Time Lord has a series of mysterious links to Northampton? One episode was set there. The actor who currently plays the current Doctor Who was born there. And the writer of tomorrow's episode comes from there too. Here's Joe Black. Where am I? You're in a faster time stream. Maybe. You didn't save me. It so, uh, promises to be one of the most emotional episodes ever. Which one's only one? It's called The Girl Who Waited. This particular story is written by Tom McRae, a writer from Weedon Beck in Northampton. It's about losing someone and uh, trying to get them back. And it's a very emotionally powerful episode, I think, and it's really visually gorgeous. Probably this is, this is the thing I'm most proud of, The Girl Who Waited. It's, it's, I think it's the best thing I've ever done. We already know the Dr Matt Smith is a Northampton boy, and Delia Derbyshire, who helped produce the distinctive and original soundtrack, also lived in the town. And who can forget that in 1977, Tom Baker was sitting here in this very box, dodging bullets, at the Royal Theatre. Now, sir, please look for Ace of Diamonds. The talons of Wang Cheng was set in Victorian times, and the Northampton Theatre gave an authentic-looking backdrop. All of this now gives the town real bragging rights, but do people know just how many links Northampton has to the iconic series? Because he came from Northampton. Who did? The, the man who plays in it. He, he's born in Northampton and everything else. Uh, yeah, that's the new Doctor Who, isn't it? The new guy, yeah. I think he's a, lo a lot better than the rest of them. It's the new Doctor Who who comes from Northampton. I've forgotten his name. Matt Smith. Matt Smith, that's it, yes. Yeah. Anything else? No, no. Well, perhaps then, this man is the biggest Doctor Who fan we found today. Patrick Leonard, a tailor in Northampton, has two Daleks and a life-size TARDIS. You can't say Doctor Who now without, without saying Northampton and Matt Smith. And, of course, the other big strong connection, especially for tomorrow night's story, is Tom McRae. Do you think people need to be fans then to appreciate the town's links? Mm. Up to a point, yes. To know the links in the town, yes. You have to be a fan, I think. Whoa. Tomorrow, Doctor Who fans or Whovians are in for a real tearjerker, which could have them reaching for tissues as well as hiding behind the sofa. Joe Black, BBC Look East. I have been corrected by a Doctor Who anorak <laughs> in our newsroom, <laughs> who, uh, even though he's much younger than me, says there's never been a Layla, it was Leela. Apparently. But, was, yeah. but I was seven at the time. I'm yes. sure I called her Layla.